right, folks, it's time for Random Rush. You know what that means. I listen to Rush Limbaugh for 60 seconds, and I respond in 90. It is now 1.12 p.m. Eastern Coast, East Coast time, I should say. And let's see if he's on. In the first quarter, the economy shrank 3%. I still can't get over that. How horrible that is. And the fact that it is the direct result of policy. It's the direct result of the cultural decline that's happening in this country. It's the direct result of open borders and swarms of illegals who are uneducated and poor swarming into the country. It's the direct result of Obamacare and the regime taking over one-sixth of the economy, the private sector economy. So here's Hank Paulson. He's just supposed to be one of the smartest people in the world on Sunday with an op-ed. And guess what? The greatest economic risk we face is climate change. They've got to change the narrative. They have to change because as a science issue, it it's bombing out. But then Hank's kind of got bitten on the rear end because two days later, here comes the economy contracting by 3%. And the whole... Okay, so here's Limbaugh basically just um, accurately saying that the economy uh, shank, uh, shrank at an annualized rate of 2.9% uh, last quarter. It is unlikely that those, uh, that, that is uh, anything other than a statistical blip, but it is the case that the economy is anemic, and we know why it's anemic. You can look at government spending and austerity programs for the answer folks. But the idea that it has anything to do with cultural decline. We had so much cultural decline in the first quarter of this year. <laughs> Not so much in the uh, quarters before, but we had so much cultural decline in the first quarter. That it has anything to do with immigration is absurd. The idea that it has anything to do with Obamacare, except for, yes, there was reduced health care spending. But part of that, in fact, I think had to do with uh, a lot of, A, drug prices coming down because insurance companies are not paying for high-priced drugs anymore and drug prices are coming down. It also deals with just a decline in health care spending. And I'm not sure what point he's trying to make with climate change. I mean, here is, you know, he's just listing off a list of things. It could be uh, the economy shrank in the first quarter. And Michael wore shoes yesterday. And uh, I went to the ballet last night. And, of course, I noticed that at Pinkberry, they changed flavors. He doesn't talk about any causal connection here. And that is because the people who listen to him are moronic and they just want to hear. He could have said Benghazi and they would have been, I knew it. <laughs> I went a little long. What are you going to do?